Greetings. So, this build is so heavy that you need three talismans, a great rune, and 67 endurance just to be able to roll properly. I can roll normally. I can actually fight. I am wielding two giant colossal hammers because they're awesome. And this is a really, really cool strength build. Because they're both hammers, they have the power stance to be able to swing twice, which is awesome. And they got a three combo. And obviously they deal ridiculous amounts of damage, as you saw. Um, the special on this is an Ash of War. You can use any Ash of War that you like. It doesn't actually matter. I like this one because the moment you're in the air, you can't be interrupted. And it's nice and quick. You also have a little, little gap closer, small one. But it does massive damage. There are a ton of Ash of Wars that you could use. Um, they're both scaled to heavy, which means they scale with strength. And I'm wearing the Bulgo armor that you get from Patches questline after Volcano Mano. You go in there, you talk to him, you go, he'll tell you to go fight a guy. This guy's wearing this armor and you get to wear it afterwards. This is the heaviest armor in the game. I think it's 63 weight and 100 poise. So it's very rare that you're going to be interrupted during an attack. Um, and obviously one of these weighs 23 and wielding one in each hand, you know, that's 50 weight on their own. Um, so the hammers alone are 50 weight pretty much in total plus the armor which is the heaviest in the game uh, you need a ridiculous amount of equip load just to be able to sprint normally and roll properly so that's pretty much the build strength builds don't require any magic you know I'm just a full hulking tank with absolute strength on my side I can bonk on things for 2000 damage no problem uh, that was just with one weapon, weapon art as well, by the way. That was crazy. Um, the, thing, the, the drawbacks, obviously, are you're ridiculously heavy, and the requirements to even be able to roll with this kind of stuff is insane. I'm level 150. Uh, it's ridiculous. And the real estate on the screen, obviously, when you're wielding two of these, I can barely see my character. I can barely see the screen. So if you want to run anywhere, just uh, take them off so you can actually see what you're bloody doing. Um, so... You need, as I said, you need three talismans and you need um, a great rune just to be able to roll properly. So these are the weapons I've got here. The Infernal Crozier to plus 25. You can get that from here on the map, Fort Laid. It's a underground, well, it's a, a chasm segment where you run round the side of Volcano Manor and you come out here. So you start here, run all the way around and kill the frame pre uh, Flame Prelate. I can speak. And the second hammer is roughly in the same location if you want the second hammer the heavy giant crusher um, also a weapon they both scale with uh, normal smithing stones so they're both plus 25 for this because I'm on playthrough 2 if you want this one it's literally from this bonfire here the outer wall phantom tree and I'm looking at it right now so it's over here you go up there there's a chest inside the giant carriage and it will have the giant hammer um, I could have two. I could have two of those giant stone ones, but the red hammer's awesome, so I, you know, I kind of want, want this too. And they're the hammers. So, in order to equip both of them and the armor, you need Great Jar's Arsenal, and Great Jar's Arsenal is a, a talisman that literally just a, uh, raises your maximum equip load by a percentage, and you get this from the Siofra River Well down in the Mistwood Forests. You go all the way along and you go to the Evergale uh, stones. It requires two stone swords and you go all the way north through there. I will link the wiki and you go there and talk to the giant um, the giant pot and he will give you three invasions to do in one go. Uh, quite tough, so good luck with that. And he will give you that talisman as a reward. The next one is Erdtree's Favor Plus Two. This one you get after you go to the snow field. Um, to get the plus one, you need to go into the subterranean shining grounds inside Lanedale Capital. You can do that after you've killed the fire giant or before, it's up to you. Uh, you go down there and fight uh, a boss and he will drop you the uh, tree favor plus one. To get plus two, you need to go north into the uh, mountaintops of the giants and I will link the wiki for that one. I will link the wiki for everything I talk about so you're not lost or get stuck. Uh, and the last one, uh, Radagon Sawseal. This greatly raises your attributes by plus five. 
uh, but also increases the damage taken, which you can trade off sort of with the heaviest armor in the game. Uh, it gives you huge damage negation, so they should counterbalance quite nicely. Um, this gives you plus five, which obviously gives me plus five in endurance, and this uh, also requires, uh, raises my equip load as, lo as well as my HP and stamina, which is quite a nice one. This last talisman you can play around with. It's completely up to you which one you want to use. I use the stamina one because when you're fighting, you do three swings and you're out of stamina, even at 77 stamina. So having enough stamina to redo three attacks is quite important. Um, however, you can trade this off for anything you, you, you fancy. Personally, I quite like Claw Talisman for this as well because obviously the jump attacks in this game are awesome. Um, they don't have much wind up so any weapon can hit as fast as or as slow as you jump and it does massive damage obviously at plus 25 and it's also a giant hammer so it's awesome but i use the turtle talisman just for ease the turtle talisman you get from the shirt you get it from summon water village inside the turtle underground area um and yeah, you need all three of these. You need three of these for the equip load just to be able to roll normally. And also, you need an extra plus five from your great rune. I'm using Godric's great rune, which again, raises all of your attributes. But we're looking for, obviously, the main one, um, which is endurance, so we can actually roll normally. Obviously, this is a completely bonkers build. Uh, my stats are... 80 strength but minus 10 so it's actually 70 strength because i'm getting plus five from godric's great rune and also the radagon sword seal um endurance 67 and my vigor's 35 and they're the only three stats i've actually leveled in this game <laughs> so uh having those um yeah this i'm level 150 i think it was yeah i'm bang on a level 150 i farmed all my souls at the end of the game in the first playthrough uh, it took me like an hour and a half and I got all the levels and then went to uh, obviously the Grand Library, the Rare Lucario of Grand Library to go and respec so I could get what I needed. So I could just roll normally. Uh, obviously using one giant hammer is enough. And you swing a little faster. But I mean, having two is just absurd, you know? I'm so strong that I can wear the heaviest armor and two of the heaviest weapons and swing them both together. It's awesome. It's one of my favorite things. So yeah, this is the build. I will end this off by fighting, I don't know, a boss. I'll, I'll pick a boss. And uh, yeah, you can see it in action. Righto.